My name is Keith Medley. My creative process involves designing, building, playing instruments. Um, from a very early age, I've looked at music far more than just any one particular instrument, though I could only play one instrument, decided to expand those uh, possibilities and I created this uh, 27 string guitar. By starting off soft on the bass strings, it, it kind of keeps everything confined to that area until the melody starts to come in. And then once the melody starts to come in, then things broaden out a little bit to where the six string now and the melody is being incorporated and the bass is going along with it. In my approach to the Hall of the Mountain King, it was, it, it was one of first submersion. I had to submerge myself into, into the original song. There's so much going on into that song. The, the orchestra, the dynamics, the tempo. And the goal was, was to fit as much of the spirit and the emotion of that song into this instrument as I could, using all the available strings. Once the movement changes again, and the dynamic changes, then it's time to incorporate the small harp strings and the higher notes. And once those higher notes are, are being played, it still has to have a pad underneath of it. It has to still keep going to keep the song together. As you keep moving into the different movements of the song, everything has got to kind of stay intact at the same time, increasing in tempo slightly. When I first built the guitar, I really didn't know how it was going to turn out. I kind of surmised how it would be, and I had thought about the, uh, uh, the possibilities. But as far as technique, as far as uh, being able to actually physically play it and hold it and to get something out of it, I really wasn't sure. But um, uh, once the guitar got built, immediately, Immediately, within the hour of stringing it up, several techniques had already presented themselves. When I get to the end of the song, the tempo is increased, the energy is increased, and so to bring it to its end, I'll sweep all the way across the strings, and then back, and then end with a crescendo. What I'm reaching for in my own music is different styles, different feels, um, to connect with different inspirations, different cultures, um, the whole different vibe that this instrument has uh, been carrying me through for the past several years. The approach I take when composing my own material is to be able to justify the instrument and to justify all the strings on the instrument. Just to stay in the, the six string area or to stay in the bass area or just to use two portions of uh, the instrument. Um, I try to stay away from, I try to incorporate the whole instrument and treat it as one instead of three separate instruments.
it requires um, opening my mind a little bit more to um, thinking outside of the box. The 12 harp strings at the bottom play pretty much like a harp when you, you, you can pluck chords and you can play chords out of them, two chords, two, two note chords, three note chords, and, and you can layer them and you can play them on top of one another. And, and at the same time you can move your hand back onto the sixth string and pull some melodies off of that that the harp itself being tuned to a scale don't have. And, pull off chromatic notes that fit in between that. The same thing with the bass. The bass, as you're playing, you can play just like a fingerstyle bass, uh, like many Chet Atkins players use, but then you can extend that tonal bass line by grabbing notes further down the scale and incorporating those in to create that same type of fullness. When I designed the instrument, I had to take into account that I had to play it. It's a lot like a three-handed piano. And, um, and to be able to reach the strings, and to be able to maneuver across the top of them to where it made some sort of musical sense. And for someone just listening to the CD, they're going to think that there's more than one instrument playing. But until you see the instrument live, and as audiences have experienced, uh, they will get it at that point. They get it once they see the song played, how it's being played. Then it becomes a completely different visual experience for them. It puts even the music itself in a different context. <laughs>